This video will demonstrate how to preferentially select cases to be included in an analysis in SPSS. There might be some situations in which you've got a data file with numerous subjects, but there are some subjects you do not want to include in an analysis for, analysis for various reasons, and you, so you can selectively choose which cases to include in an analysis um, or not include in an analysis. And so in order to do that, we need to go to the data menu We'll go down near the bottom and we're going to choose select cases. Now the most common way we're going to do this is we're going to go to the option called if condition is satisfied. And this is going to allow us to use some very specific criteria in how we're going to select cases to be included or not included in an analysis. So we click the if button. And so it's going to ask us then to uh, create the criteria of which cases to include or not to include. And we can base that on any number of the variables we may have collected. So we may do that by ID number, we may do it by quantitative or categorical variable that we've included that we have in our data set to then use that as a criteria to exclude subjects. So to go through a, a simple example here, let's say we want to um, only include subjects if they have a certain if they've missed a certain number of sick days and subjects that have not missed that number of sick days will be excluded from the analysis. So we highlight our variable and move it over into this box. And then we need to tell what criteria we're going to use. Now this is a numeric variable, so let's say we only want to include subjects that have days absent equal to or less than 10. So we'll select this particular uh, function, so less than or equal to, and then we choose the number 10. So it's only going to select subjects that have days absent less than or equal to 10. So we click continue and then we click OK. And as we look at our data we can see certain subjects have a cross mark on their row and this is indicated indicates that they have not been included in the analysis. And if we look over at their days absent, a variable we use as the criteria, you can see it's greater than 10. So there's one with 12, one with 15, one with 11, and anyone who has days absent equal to or less than 10 has not been marked, and so they will be included in the analysis. Okay, so that's one way we can uh, use to select cases. Another way, let's go back to the Select Cases menu, Data, Select Cases, is we can use categorical uh, variables as well to select them. So let's choose age. We have age as a variable and it has three, let's remove this variable first. Um, so age has three categories. So let's say we just want to select the subjects that are in the first category and the third category. And we want to exclude the subjects that are in category number two. So what we can do is say age equal to 1, and then we choose this vertical line here, and this means or. And then we put age equal to 3. So it's only going to choose the subjects that have an age category of 1 or 3, and it's going to exclude the subjects that are in age category number 2. So let's go ahead and click Continue and then click OK. Let's go back to our data. We can see again we've got, we've got some subjects that are, have been excluded. The crosshatch cross line is, is placed on their row and if we move that over towards the age, here's subject number that's in the age category number two. So that person's been excluded. So is this person. Anyone that's in age category one or three has been included. So those are two of the more common ways we can uh, select cases to be included in an analysis. So we can either choose uh, a range of subjects above or below a certain number or we can also choose a range of subjects based upon category.